Hey everybody, it's RF Tech Guy here, and today we're going to be talking about running some of your Halloween decorations on some Harbor Freight solar panels and a battery bank. Hi, Emily. Hi, I'm coloring. Guys, look what I'm coloring. I learned how to stand up the line. Awesome. That's awesome, baby. So we got Frankenstein here, we got 150 LEDs. So I got this uh, timer, timer from yes, I got this timer from Walmart and yeah, yeah, and it said to and when you put it on to the to the night one, it just sets every the light set up on that at night. Frankenstein sets up at light, and that's all we have. So this thing is basically what Emily said. Uh, I turn on the inverter like around five o'clock, and then uh, this thing has a six-hour timer, so. It actually, when once it gets dark, the six hour timer starts and then six hours after that it shuts off. And that helps me save the battery life. In the morning when I wake up, I shut off the inverter and the solar panels recharge my batteries throughout the day. And then we restart the same process again at five o'clock. And I also got this kilowatt meter so I can show you exactly how much power I'm using. And my batteries, uh, my batteries can handle running all these 150 LEDs, Frankenstein and this uh, this projector here for that six hours. So let's go turn it on. It might be dark enough for it to light up right now. Let's go check. Guys, we're gonna turn it on and you guys are gonna see Frankenstein go up. 32, because I was playing with it this morning. As you could see, the as you could hear, the ghetto birds flying around right now, so it was a perfect time to record, I guess. So I'll be leaving links on where you could get this timer and other solar equipment uh, down in the description below. So be sure to check that out. Yeah, as for the batteries, I would suggest you find like somebody that actually refurbishes batteries or makes, uh, maybe makes batteries because you get get them a lot cheaper there. I bought my four batteries for about sixty dollars a piece. Well, it was forty dollars a piece plus the twenty dollar core charge. He's got it. He can get up on his own. Yeah, he is. He's just staring at us. Yeah. Guys, let me try So there's uh, Frankenstein, a short little four foot uh, and he has a inflatable. Right there. Yeah. He's grumpy. Oh, Emily's almost as big as Frankenstein. I'm going to be seven in the house. Actually, he. Actually, look, guys, I know something's going to be rare. Oh, there it is. A spider, a bat, a pumpkin. Yeah, and guys. And a ghost. Guys, I'm going to show you something. Halloween decoration. All right, so let's go check where we're at on this, uh, how much power we're using on the kilowatt meter. So right now it's set up to uh, volts. So it's at 113 volts course so let's check out the amps so right now we're using about point twenty point twenty nine point twenty eight amps if you check the watts here so so it's about twenty two point four watts for running 150 LEDs, Frankenstein's inflatable, and uh, the Halloween light projector. So this will usually drop down to one, I'm sorry, 12.6 uh, overnight. And then I shut off my inverter in the morning and let it recharge. And I've been doing this for about a week already, running all these lights and everything, and I haven't had a problem yet. And it hasn't really been sunny. It's been pretty cloudy lately. And the ghost and the dead. Because it is. It is October after all. It's all the I know what a ghost noise is. What's a ghost noise? Yep. Guys, on my phone, I was playing Starfall. They had a Halloween thing. And when I clicked on the ghost trick or treating bag, it's like. 
So thanks to my solar setup and the, the battery bank that I got, I've been able to run all this stuff completely off the grid. Uh, I made sure to keep everything LED and uh, low, low wattage. That way I could uh, make sure to run everything throughout the whole night. I've actually accidentally left everything on and didn't have a problem at night uh, running this stuff. I woke up and it was still at uh, 12.5 uh, volts left in the charge controller. Even though it's been cloudy, my Harbor Freight solar panels haven't had a problem recharging my batteries and I can do the same thing again every night so I can repeat the same process. Okay, so it's morning, dog's working. So it looks like last night I used about 0.15 kilowatts. Charging again. And now I'm gonna shut off the Thank you for watching RF Tech Guide. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will be leaving links down below on where you can get all this stuff that I used. If you want to know how to do this solar setup, you can check out one of my older videos. Or I will be making also a, a new, more informative video since I have learned a lot more since the since I started this. I will be uh, showing you how to do your whole uh, how to set up your whole uh, solar system. Mm -hmm.